Guess who's back? Back again, it's me! <laughs> so, we're back with another Fakemon. Last time, I came up with a fully original Fakemon, which I have decided to start referring to as Ashvimon. And this time, I decided I'm going to be giving a new evolution to a Pokemon. But not just any Pokemon. I'll be giving it to my least favorite Pokemon. To give it an improved evolution. Which I think is pretty cool. So there's a backstory to this one. And uh, Sparkles, you better you better edit a fancy, you know, edit together the backstory. You make it cool, fancy, well edited, or I will cry. Um, so anyways, I was in the shower, you know, cleaning myself as one does. And I was just thinking, I was like, what? What should I do for more Fakemon? I, you know, I should give an old Fakemon, an old, re an old real Pokemon, I should say, a new evolution. And so I'm like... If I'm going to give an evolution to a Pokemon, it should be one I don't like. And so my least favorite Pokemon, Dugong, because it's bland. I'll get into that another day. I was like, what am I going to do with Dugong? It's just an animal. Wait. And so the idea was born to make this evolution a seal combined with other animals from the Arctic. But uh, what other animals exactly? Let's get into that. Well, since I'm already stuck with a, a water ice typing, I figured I'd build off of that for this. To help make it look natural, we're gonna have some of these uh, parts, such as like claws, tusks, etc., be made out of ice. Because Dugong doesn't look like an ice type. Like it's cold, but that's really... So anyways, um, what animals, you mean? What animals are we gonna be using here? Uh, well... To start, I want to use the horn and tusks that Dugong already has, and make them from a narwhal and a walrus, respectively. You know, narwhal horn, walrus tusks. I also wanted to give it claws of a polar bear, which will make him out of ice, since seals don't have claws normally. Uh, I also wanted to use some elements of a humpback whale, so it's got icy barnacles on its tail. <laughs> well, it will. Um, the last trait I wanted to include would be the eyes of a Greenland shark. Now, Greenland sharks have an interesting relationship with the... Amatokoita? Are you surprised I'm failing to pronounce this by now? These parasites visually impair the Greenland shark by... eating their eyes. However, uh, this doesn't affect the Greenland shark as much you do as... as, <coughs> as much as you would expect because they don't really hunt with their eyes. I mean, not really. However, this parasite also helps out the shark because it acts like a fishing lure to help it lure its prey. So it's kind of a win-win scenario, and I think that would be a really interesting trait to add to this. Time once more for the reveal, and oh, hello there, little dugong. Peh, <laughs> disgusting creature. Um... Uh, what? Oh, what's that? Oh, yo, look, it's a foe for you to fight. Oh, look at that, that funny-looking fella. Oh, uh, use Ice Beam. Wow, that was great. Oh, look, what's that? You got a critical hit while using an ice move in battle? Huh, isn't that interesting? A gasp? Whoa, you're evolving from that? Because that's how it evolves. It evolves into this by uh, getting a critical hit with an ice move in a battle. What? Huh, you're evolving? Congratulations! Your dugong evolved into... Arctonisk! Arctonisk's name comes from a few places. One is Arctic. That one should be obvious. It also has ton in it, because it weighs a lot. I mean, it's big. It also has tusk. And then, both gigantic and titanic. Arctonisk has a good amount packed into this design, so let's go over it. First off, the obvious, the giant narwhal horn. Evolving its old just like random horn for no reason into an actual narwhal tusk felt a lot more fitting of the Arctic. Additionally, we have walrus tusks, you know, ones that look like tusks compared to a, a narwhal's tusk. We also have these large claws, which it doesn't actually have any fingers. These claws are just made of ice. It's just like a flipper under there. These claws happen to look exactly like polar bear claws. Additionally, it's got these, you see those, those blue spots on its tail right there? 
barnacles made of ice. And uh, you remember how I mentioned the Greenland shark has that parasite that acts like a lure? Well, with its um, snow white eyes, it has these icicles which it uses as a lure. Mmm, pretty clever there. And also, there's of course the whole giant, uh, n not narwhal, <laughs> narwhal? Orca fin on its back, alongside the orca pattern on, you know, its, its body. Additionally, you'll notice it also has a lot of scars because, like rhinos, which is an interesting uh, way to compare it, but rhinos are also a uh, very poor sight, so they tend to be more aggressive. So these Pokemon would act similarly to that, using their brute strength to, to fight anything that they think might be a threat since they can't see very well. Let's get some info on this new evolution, shall we? Arctonisk is a water ice type Pokemon with the classification of the Apex Pokemon. This Pokemon gets two abilities. First is Thick Fat, because it's thick and fat. I'm sorry, you're beautiful the way you are, Arctonisk. Don't change. Its second ability is its signature ability, known as Bitter Behemoth. This ability basically acts like Intimidate. When sent out onto the field, its opponent has its speed dropped by two stats. Which is, a uh, pretty, pretty good, I think? I'm not that good at balancing. This Pokemon has an equal gender ratio, so 50% for both. Because uh, it's the same as Dugong in, in that aspect. It's, uh, it's in the Water 1 egg group, like Dugong and Seal. But it's also in the Monster egg group. Because, well, it's, it's very monstrous. And its stats look like this. Now to explain the signature move. Its signature move is called Barnacleback Smack. I love the name. It's a 100 power physical ice type move. With this move, Arctonus rams into its opponents, encasing them in ice. And then, uh, flips around, uses its giant frozen tail to smack them right out of the ice, straight into the air. And they land back down, you know, with a big old thud. Um, this move, uh, does a lot of power, a lot of damage, rather, and freezes the opponent. How it does, however, it, bleh, it does have the catch that it doesn't work on any Pokemon that are in the air. So, like, flying types or Pokemon with levitate are completely immune to this move, which can be a detriment, especially when, you know, ice is good against flying. It balances it a bit. Uh, this move is based on, uh, something that, uh, killer whales are known for doing, where they'll take, you know, just about any animal mining its business, and it's like, mm-mm, that's too much for the killer whales, so they smack them into the sky with their tails. They don't even eat the animals sometimes, they just do it for fun, because killer whales are sadistic monsters to anything that isn't, like, a human. Besides its signature move, Arctonisk learns plenty of other moves, like, Ice Fang or Crunch, it's got like bigger moves like Giga Impact, Hyper Beam, Bubble Beam, literally most of the moves that like Dugong learns and like Seal learns, but it gets a couple more. I don't think Dugong can learn Giga Impact. It probably gets Earthquake because it's, you know, it's a big boy, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Arctonisk. Like last time, let me know what you think of it. Uh, we have a few more Ashvimon on the way with a whole dev team uh, helping out. We got a couple artists in there. Uh, an editor, uh, you know, great, great group helping, uh, helping make this. Uh, there's also, um, oh yeah, all the Ashvimon will be, uh, their art will be in the fan kit, uh, linked in the, the description, uh, if you want to check that out. But yeah, that's, that's all for this video. Uh, I'm going to, uh, fade into the void now. Uh, see ya.